Hey guys, me again. Sorry I had to do that. It's just, I don't know why YouTube always wants to cut off the video in about six minutes. Um, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start off with the spells again. I was doing my Doppelplant <clears throat> deck profile. So I was talking about three Avarice. I really like Avarice a lot. Um, I was thinking about either taking out one for um, Lila, surprisingly, which I talked about earlier in the first part, um, or Dark Arm Dragon. Um, I like Dark Arm a lot, but I find some games will get them in your hand, you just don't get any darks in the graveyard. And I just don't like dead draws. I hate dead draws. And yes, Avarice can be a dead draw too sometimes, but I always like to kind of start off a game with at least one Avarice in my hand. That way I know when I'm milling, the other ones uh, aren't going to, um, you know, go on the graveyard and then I get no more pluses. But yeah, I like, I like three Avarice and I think it's really good. And it's easy to use in this deck as well. Um, so I'm going to go through these really quick here. Two MSTs, staple. Giant Trunade, staple. Charge of the Light Brigade. Uh, I think it's staple in this deck if you're running the Raikos. You kind of got to run it. Um, Rota is really cool. It searches out both junks and it searches out both doppels. I've never found this as useless because I can always adverse back those cards anyways and this is still live again. Um, Foolish, staple in this deck for the dandy plays and whatever else you want to set up. One for one. I've seen some people playing doppel plants. They don't run this. Yes, I understand. It can be dead sometimes. Um, but so can a lot of other cards in the game. This just sets up all your Doppel Warrior plays, and uh, I, know, I think getting that Spore, that Glow Ball in the graveyard early is just really essential. And one for one, um, you know, if you draw the nuts, you can always <laughs> you can always one for one Dandy, um, and then have a Debris Dragon in hand and make a Shooting Star first turn. So I still like one for one a lot. Mind Control card is busted. I think it honestly needs to get banned. It's basically a Brain Control that can hit face downs. Yeah, you can attack with it, but you get to synchro with it, you can destroy it with Scrap Dragon's effect, whatever. I think it's busted. You can flip up a Raikou, which happens to me all the time, and I hate it. Uh, Book of Moon, Staple, Reborn, Staple. And good old Mr. Dark Hole, Staples. Uh, I think that's uh, 13 spells, something like that. 13 sounds right. Um, onto the traps. Uh, these are very simple, very short. I play more defensive traps. I know a lot of people run Limit Reverse, but I don't like Limit Reverse. I hate drawing it opening turn and then having nothing uh, in the graveyard for it. And you kind of set it and they just MST it and you're just like, oh, well, you know, that's kind of a waste. Um, two Solid Morning. I think it's a staple, this format. Yes, those are sexy LTs. Um, yeah, Warning's just a busted card. It's way too good not to run. Uh, Judgment, it's a staple. Uh, Call the Haunted. I uh, love this card in this deck. Um, basically just grabs anything, sets up your combos. It's just awesome. Uh, and then of course Mirror Force, which I still love, and Mr. Gold Torrential Tribute. Uh, so that's six traps. So that's 42 cards, I believe. Six. Yeah, that sounds right. 42 cards. Um, yeah, so that's the deck, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people would be like, oh, don't run 42 cards, it's too many, but I actually like the 42 cards. I don't like drawing. I like kind of spacing the cards out, and I always find 40, I draw too many. Like, I get clumped hands of Rikos and stuff. So I think that way you kind of draw into a more diverse hand. But, yeah, uh, that's the deck. Uh, make sure to check out my videos once again. Make sure to subscribe to uh, Team Gambit, and uh, make sure to subscribe to me. Thanks for watching, guys.